There's a sound like velvet rubbing against itself before the quick snap. If you've done it well, the stem will have left a clean, white circle on the fruit's crown. Just before they've ripened to their peak, we break the harvest from its vines by hand, often hundreds of thousands at a time. If you were to pause, and that's likely, you'll appreciate these 400 acres lined with our charge. You'll feel the rich history and the dewy heat radiating from the soil. Take a Sea Island tomato in your hand and see what we've been cultivating and perfecting for six generations. Most people don't think of a farm by the coast, but tomatoes are the primary crop for our tiny island, and the rich sandy soil is really where they grow best. For us, the low country was our landscape for adventure. June harvest was but a sentence in a lifelong conversation with the land around us. In the creeks around our farm, we were fishermen reeling in the big catch. In the marshes, we were soldiers on a mission. Between the vines, we were home, learning our heritage. As kids in Frogmore, we could be anything we wanted to be. Coming back as adults, the reality is even sweeter. If I could just bottle my childhood, front porch swings, fishing in a battle with granddaddy, and you know, walking the crop before harvest, that would be the very product that defined it. A taste of seaside grown is really just an invitation to Frogmore Plantation, where the same time, love, and tenderness has been shown on our farm throughout history. Please join us on May 31st for a beautiful unveiling at Frogmore Plantation.